Hi everyone, today I'm going to be reading you Gilbert the Great by Jane Clark and Charles Fuge. From the time Gilbert the Great White Shark was a tiny pup, Raymond the Remora stuck to him like glue. Raymond was always on Gilbert's side. When Gilbert was stuck in the seaweed, Raymond untangled him. When Gilbert got dirty, Raymond cleaned him up. And when Gilbert lost his first row of teeth, Raymond helped him collect them for the tooth fairy. Gilbert and Raymond had lots of fun. They loved to play finball, tied and seek and sardines. They played together, they ate together, they slept together. Then one day, Gilbert woke up and Raymond was gone. Mum! yelled Gilbert. I can't find Raymond! Mrs Munch checked her son over carefully. Then she put her fins around Gilbert and hugged him tightly. I'm afraid you're right, she said. Raymond is gone. Raymond was my best friend, said Gilbert. Why did he have to go? It's not fair. I guess Raymond just couldn't hold on any longer, said Mum. Remoris can't stick around forever. She kissed Gilbert on the snout. Go and play tide and seek with the pilot fish. It will help take your mind off Raymond. But Gilbert couldn't help thinking about Raymond. Perhaps Raymond will come back, Gilbert said. Raymond would come back if he could, said Mum, but he can't. Let's go and watch the basking ball. The thrashing thrashers are playing the tidal tigers. Who do you think? Who do you want to win? Gilbert looked around. There were remorse everywhere, but none of them was Raymond. I don't care, he said, and he swam off before either side scored a basker. After the game, Mum took Gilbert to the coral reef to see the clownfish. It's my fault Ra Raymond's gone, Gilbert snapped as they passed an eel. Last week, I called him a sucker, Mrs Munch smiled. Everyone falls out sometimes, she said. Raymond knew you loved him and he loved you. The next day at school, everyone was very kind to Gilbert. He was allowed to play on the seesaw for as long as he wanted. Cheer up, said Mallet. There are plenty more fish in the sea. There isn't another Raymond, said Gilbert, as he swished his tail and swam into the seaweed. Gilbert was still skulking in the seaweed when Mum came to collect him from school. It's not the same without Raymond, Gilbert said. I know, said Mum, but Raymond wouldn't want you to be unhappy, would he? No, said Gilbert, through a wobbly smile. I was lucky that Raymond was my best friend, Gilbert gulped. But I wish he was here now. I miss him so much. Sometimes it helps to cry, said Mum. Gilbert cried and cried and cried and his salty tears mingled with a deep, dark ocean. Mum took Gilbert gently by the fin and towed him into shallow water. Rocked by the gentle waves, they gazed out at the vast sandy seashore and the endless blue sky. I hope Raymond's happy wherever he is, said Gilbert. I'm sure he is, said Mum. I'm hungry, said Gilbert. We'll go to the wreck, said Mum. Gilbert's eyes lit up. They didn't usually go to the wreck. Mum didn't like meeting junk food. Scrunch, munch, crunch. As Gilbert was tucking into a pile of tin cans and bits of old boat, he spotted a small remora lurking in the shadows. Gilbert stopped crunching and swam towards her. Rita was crying as if her heart would break. What's the matter? Gilbert asked. It's my shark. Daphne, Rita sobbed. She's gone. So is Raymond, my remora, said Gilbert sadly. But he's stuck in my heart. I shall never lose him there. Daphne's in my heart too, Rita smiled a wobbly smile. 
Gilbert took Rita's fin and together they swam out of the shadows. A ray of sunlight filtered through the deep blue ocean. Gilbert's teeth flashed as he grinned a huge grin. Would you like to stick around with me, Rita? Sunlight danced in Rita's eyes. I'd love to stick around with you, she said. Fun. The end.